वन एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन जेनरेटिव ए आई बाय एडियोरेका इन टू डेज वीडियो वी आर टेस्टिंग थ्री ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर ओपन ए आई चैट जी पी टी मॉडल्स विच आर जी पी टी फोर ओ चैट जी पी टी ओ वन एंड चैट जी पी टी ओ थ्री मिनी वी हैव डिजाइन फाइव डाइवर्स प्रॉम्स टू चैलेंज दम इन एरिया सच एज करंट अफेयर्स कॉम्पिटेटिव मैथ कोड जनरेशन लॉजिकल रीजनिंग एंड क्रिएटिव इमेज जनरेशन सो लेट्स डाइव राइट इन But before we begin make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for the latest tech content from Edureka. Also do check out the Generative AI Masters training program on the Edureka's website. If you are looking to master the principles of generative AI and apply them in the real world applications this is the perfect course for you. Edureka's Generative AI course covers Python programming, data science, artificial intelligence, natural language processing, generative AI, prompt engineering, chat GPT and so much more. So enroll today and dive into the fascinating world of generative AI to elevate your career to the next level. Now, moving on to the model comparisons. So first we are going to try the general knowledge and reasoning. Our first prompt focuses on Indian politics. We will ask each model to analyze the outcome of the most recent Delhi assembly elections and here's the prompt. So the prompt is discuss the outcome of the most recent Delhi assembly elections. which party emerged victorious and by how many seats did they win additionally explain the major factors that contributed to this result and the implications it may have on delhi's political landscape and this question tests the model's understanding of current events and their ability to analyze and explain complex political scenarios so let's see how each model responds let's take a closer look at how gpt 4o handles our prompt about the recent delhi assembly elections Well, Chat GPT 4O reported that in the elections held on February 5, 2025, the BJP secured a commanding victory by winning 48 out of 70 seats, making their return in power in Delhi after 27 years. So, as you can see, Chat GPT 4O delivered an impressively comprehensive and current analysis of the Delhi Assembly elections, and its ability to incorporate live data through the web search features truly sets it apart. Next. We will try the same prompt with the ChatGPT V1 model. So now let's take a closer look at how ChatGPT V1 handles our prompt about the recent Delhi Assembly elections. ChatGPT V1 provided details from the 2020 elections stating that the Aam Aadmi Party led by Arvind Kejriwal secured 62 out of 70 seats while the BJP managed only 8 seats. So as you can see while ChatGPT V1 delivers a detailed historical analysis Its response is based on older data due to the web search features being disabled. And this limitation means it misses the latest updates from the 2025 elections. Next, we will try the same prompt with the ChatGPT O3 mini model. So now, let's take a closer look at how ChatGPT O3 mini handles our prompt about the recent Delhi assembly elections. Well, ChatGPT O3 mini reported that in the most recent elections The BJP secured a decisive victory by winning 48 out of 70 seats, while the Aam Aadmi Party managed to win only 22 seats, a dramatic reversal from the previous 2020 polls where Aam Aadmi Party had won 62 seats. So as you can see, ChatGPT O3 mini delivered a detailed and well-sourced analysis highlighting key factors such as anti-incumbency, corruption controversies and effective campaigning strategies. Next, We will move on to the competitive maths problem segment. So here's the problem we have chosen. So suppose two numbers a and b satisfying the conditions a plus b equal to five and a b equal to six. So using these values, find a cube plus b cubes and please provide a step by step explanation of your method and make sure to use the appropriate algebraic identities. This problem relies on the algebraic identity. 3 cube plus 3 cube equal to a plus b whole cube minus 3 ab into a plus b, and it might seem simple at the first glance, but it really tests the model's ability to manipulate algebraic expressions and explain each step clearly. So let's check out the responses. So let's take a closer look at how ChatGPT 4o handles our competitive maths challenge. So as you can see, ChatGPT 4o delivered an impressively clear step-by-step -step explanation and arrived at the current answer of 35. Although it handles this problem very well, tackling even more complex problems might pose a greater challenge for the model. So next we will try the same prompt with the ChatGPT V1 model. So let's take a closer look at how ChatGPT V1 handles our competitive math challenge. 
As you can see, ChatGPT O1 delivered a fast, detailed, and accurate explanation, even outpacing ChatGPT 4O in clarity for this problem. The model's clear structure and methodical approach, starting with the basic equations, recalling the relevant algebraic identity, and then systematically substituting the values, have made the solution easy to follow. Next, we will try the same prompt with the ChatGPT O3 mini model. So, let's take a closer look at how it handles our competitive maths problem. So, the answer is correct and the computation was executed swiftly. However, while the response is efficient, its explanation isn't as detailed as ChatGPT O1's breakdown. Next, we will move on to the code generation segment. Now, for our third challenge, we are diving into code generation. We are asking the models to write a Python program that builds a GUI based tic tac toe game using the tkinter library. So, here's the full prompt. Now, this prompt will show us how well each model can generate functional, well documented code. So, let's see which one comes up with the best tic tac toe game. So, let's take a closer look at how ChatGPT 4O handled our code generation prompt for a GUI based tic tac toe game using tkinter. And the code is well commented, making it easy to follow how each component works. And when run, the game works as expected, demonstrating that ChatGPT 4O can generate functional and understandable code. While the implementation is solid, there is always room for enhancements, perhaps by refining the user interface or adding new features. So next, we will try same prompt with the ChatGPT O1 model. So let's take a closer look at how ChatGPT O1 handled our code generation prompt for a GUI-based tic-tac-toe game using tkinter. So the detailed comments and clear method breakdown make it easy to understand how the game board is created, how user interactions are managed, and how the win-draw conditions are verified. Although the game works well, there is still room for enhancements. Perhaps a more polished user interface or additional error handling could improve the overall experience. Next, we will try the same prompt with the ChatGPT O3 mini model. So here, let's take a closer look how it handles the code generation prompt for the tic-tac-toe game. Well, ChatGPT O3 mini produced a Python script that's easy to understand and well documented. The code uses detailed doc strings and inline comments to explain each part of the program. From initializing the 3 to 3 game board and handling button clicks, to checking for wins or draws and resetting the game. The generation speed was amazing and the game works well. However, just like with the other models, there is always room for improvement. While the code is functional and clear, further refinements such as enhancing the user interface or optimizing the code structure could take the project to the next level. Next, we will move on to the logical reasoning segment. Our fourth prompt is a classic logical puzzle, the bridge and torch puzzle and here's what we are asking. So this is the prompt. So before we see the model's responses, let me quickly explain the puzzle. The challenge is to minimize the total crossing time by strategically planning the trips and using the fastest individual to ferry the flashlight back when needed. The optimal solution for this challenge is commonly known to be 17 minutes. Now, let's see how each model explains and solves the puzzle. So first, let's take a closer look at how ChatGPT 4O handled our logical reasoning prompt for the bridge and torch puzzle. ChatGPT 4O begins by outlining the puzzle, then it details a step-by-step -step strategy and after all the calculation it gives the answer as 17 minutes, which is the minimum time required for all four to cross. While the explanation is detailed and clear, it took a bit longer to generate the response. However, its in-depth breakdown makes the optimal strategy easy to understand. So let's take a closer look at how ChatGPT O1 handled our logical reasoning prompt for the bridge and torch puzzle. Well, ChatGPT O1 began by clearly outlining the puzzle, detailing the crossing times for individual along with the constraints and the rule that the slower person space governs each crossing. Then it comes up with the answer as 17 minutes. So here, the explanation emphasized why this strategy works, highlighting that having the fastest person handle the written trips minimizes extra time and sending the slowest together avoids repeated long crossings. The response was generated quickly and it's clear, detailed breakdown makes the optimal strategy very easy to follow. Next, we will try the same prompt with the ChatGPT O3 mini model. So let's take a look. ChatGPT O3 mini starts by outlining the key area, using the fastest individuals as shuttles for the fast light to minimize extra trips. And it then details the optimal sequence of moves, adding this up to give a total of 17 minutes which is the minimum time required for all four to cross. 
and the response was generated quickly and after a brief moment of deep thinking it presented a clear and concise breakdown of the strategy showcasing the model's ability to reason through the solution efficiently so lastly we will move on to the image generation segment for our final prompt we are tapping into creativity so we will ask the models to generate an image of a futuristic cityscape at dusk so here's the prompt and this creative prompt will test the model's ability to transform descriptive language into compelling visual content so let's see the response first let's take a closer look at how chatgpt 4o handled our image generation prompt for a futuristic cityscape at dusk the model produced an image featuring towering skyscrapers with neon lights flying vehicles traveling the skyline and reflective rain soaked streets perfectly capturing the cyberpunk aesthetic we asked for ChatGPT 4o is currently the only one among these models capable of generating images directly. Meanwhile, ChatGPT O1 and O3 Mini might not generate images themselves, but they can still craft detailed prompts that you can feed into any image generation AI platform. So, if you have an external tool like Adobe Firefly, Midjourney, or DALL-E, you can use prompts provided by O1 or O3 Mini to achieve a similar result. So, there you have it. five challenging prompts that test everything from current affairs analysis and algebraic manipulation to coding logical reasoning and creative image generation now if we compare the responses which model gave the most comprehensive analysis of the delhi assembly election then chatgpt 4o and o3 mini provided the most up to date and detailed analysis currently sitting the 2025 elections results in which the bjp won 48 seats and its real time data integration via the web search feature set it apart from the other models next if we compare who solved the maths problem with the clearest step by step explanation chat gpt o1 offered the clearest most systematic breakdown of the algebraic steps making it particularly easy to follow and understand while chat gpt 4o and o3 mini were also correct o1 structured approach stood out next If we compare the models which generated the cleanest most functional tic tac toe code then all three models 4o o1 and o3 mini produced functional code but chatgpt o1's object oriented approach and thorough comments gave it a slight edge in a clarity and structure chatgpt o3 mini was also quite readable but o1's methodical style made it especially user friendly next if we compare how did each model handle the logical intricacies of the bridge and torch puzzle Then all three models arrived at the optimal 17 minute solution. ChatGPT 4o was comprehensive but somewhat slower to generate. ChatGPT O1 and O3 Mini provided concise yet thorough explanation and overall each model showcased solid logical reasoning skills. And finally, what did you think of the futuristic cityscape image generated by GPT 4o? Well, GPT 4o's image featured neon lit skyscrapers, flying vehicles, and a cyberpunk fire perfectly matching our prompt although o1 and o3 mini doesn't support direct image generation but they can still create detailed prompts that can be used with external image generation tools so do try out these prompts yourself and let us know in the comments which model impressed you the most and why and we hope you enjoyed watching these models in action and don't forget to let us know in the comments which model impressed you the most and why And if you enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment on any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest do look up for more videos and playlist and subscribe to the edureka's youtube channel to learn more thank you for watching and happy learning